the hour now. We have some breaking news. I want to go directly to our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr, uh, on. And Barbara, this has to do with that helicopter that was shot down, killing those 30 American service members. Yes, that's right. Uh, we've just stepped out of a briefing now being conducted by General John Allen, the top commander in Afghanistan, and he has just announced that the U.S. military has killed the insurgents they believe that were associated and responsible for the downing of that U.S. military helicopter on Saturday that killed 30 American troops. In fact, they've issued a statement saying that they have now killed, and I quote, the insurgent who fired the shot and other Taliban leaders associated with all of this. What has happened, apparently, is after this, uh, the helicopter incident, they got additional intelligence about who these people were, and they went and tracked them. They say that they called in an airstrike as the top insurgents apparently were trying to flee Afghanistan back across the border into Pakistan. So they called in an airstrike in the last several hours, and they are convinced that they got the people responsible for the uh, shooting down of the U.S. helicopter. The question on the table that will be a question for investigators that we asked General Allen is, if you called in an airstrike to kill them this time, why, when you were looking for them the other day, did you put so many special operations forces right into harm's way, bringing in a helicopter that was potentially, potentially vulnerable? General Allen says he is comfortable with that decision, that so many special forces were put into that position, but it is still going to be a question for investigators regardless. You had a number of Army Rangers on the ground, you had 22 Navy SEALs, a big contingent of special forces, and now they got their uh, target by an airstrike. All right, Barbara Starr, we appreciate that important update uh, this morning. Uh, you get more, by all means, uh, let us know. We'll get you back in here, Barbara Starr. Thank you so much.